Hello, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Um, in this video, we're gonna have the first demo about a single table to emulate inheritance in relational database. Okay, let's start. I already have the structure of the project set up. Everything is same as before. So now we're using the example we mentioned in our uh, intro, okay? First, we have account. And it, this is account, right? Yes, account. Account is an abstract class, okay? And here in the account, we're gonna have an ID. And remember, in the inheritance, only the parent has ID. The child doesn't have ID, okay? And let's give a strategy as uh, generation identity. If I using auto now, it will give me uh, what? It give me sequence, right? And we have a private, what's the? A double balance, okay? And make sure we have an entity here, okay? So that's it. If we want to have getter setter, you can have a getter setter and the getter, okay? If we want to have a non-argument constructor, you can have a non-argument constructor using a uh, no-arguments constructor uh, from the long book, okay? So that's it for our, uh, what's the thing? Uh, for our abstract class. Oh, I want to add, uh, um, we don't do it now. Okay, we'll do it later. So next one. Next one, checking. Checking account. Checking account will extend from the account, basically, okay? And uh, checking account will also have a private, what do we use before? A double limit. I don't know what is this one used. Okay, just make this one, okay? And make sure we have an entity here, okay? And if we want to have a construct, non-argument construct data setter, we just copy from here. Or we can do is add the data, okay? Import, good. And uh, if we want to have a customized constructor, we can have uh, insert constructor limit and we can go yes give a balance you okay. and we can call super dot what's thing we can using super this one right balance right does this one work Oh, I don't have, uh, I don't have, uh, here, see here, I don't give the uh, customized the constructor. Oh, I forgot. I was thinking I give, I want to have a customized constructor. Then here, when we generate it, you should automatically generate this one. Yes, right? See this, see this one. Are we gonna use this one? Yes. Okay. See here, it will automatically generate it for us. Okay. So we have a customized constructor for this one, this one, because later I want to save, uh, I want to save something. Next one, savings, S-A-V-R-N-G-S, savings. Also extends from account, okay? And uh, also we have to do all the things we done here. Add the entity, okay? And here we have a double, interest okay and we also generate a customized construct using this one okay so that's it for now make sure in your checking and saving which is the subclass don't have the id because the id is inside our account okay so now uh where's my man okay this is our man i do nothing just leave it like this now. Add entities. Okay, add entity and add entity. Do nothing. By default, it's gonna be what? By default, it's gonna be single table. Wrong? Okay, everything 
all the call all the fields gonna be in one table and it will also has another column called uh, to afford uh, called the uh, discriminator column which to store which is you to is you to differentiate is checking or it's a saving oh we have uh, an exception I didn't expect that check manually corresponding to my SQL version oh oh I think uh, the limit the limit the limit is what the limit is the what's the thing uh, what should I say uh, it's a keyword in the database you can we cannot use in limit and I remember a long time ago I fixed this one using this thing let me see okay Long time ago, I fixed using this one. Column name is limited. See if it works. Okay. I used the long, long when I work with the SQL Server. Otherwise, we just change the limit. It's gonna work. Uh, don't using the keywords. Okay. If that doesn't work, we change it. Okay. Hmm. It works. Now let's take a look at a table, okay? Take a look at a table and we're gonna have a count. And take a look at here we have ID balance, which are the fields in the account. Uh, limit, this one is uh, where? This one is inside our account, right? And the interest, well, uh, uh, sorry, uh, limit is in our checking, okay? The entity. Interest is in our uh, where? Savings and this D type is a decree discriminator column which is to differentiate this row belongs to checking or this row belongs to saving and let me uh, save some uh, account to show you okay what's gonna be the value so we are gonna create a new account which you call checking equals new checking and we give balance 100 oh sorry double 100 uh we are very i'm um, very poor only has 100 and the checking balance and what limit 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 using what limit a uh, limit uh give limit uh, 20 dollar okay do i using double or using integer okay and then i using em dot persist checking that's it and let's see uh. i run this one okay so from here you already see d type gonna be the checking and uh, by default the discriminator is uh, d type the column name and the value gonna be the class name so take a look at i uh, see checking one 120 and interest uh, because interest belongs to saving suppose we save another one okay <sighs> and here we're using savings okay and here we're using savings and here we're using savings and let's using savings uh, has a one two thousand very rich okay this one is uh, 200 okay very rich okay so here run and you are see two insert statement okay so let's go here and run and you will see two one is for checking the other one is for saving and uh, checking only has a limit and the saving only has interest so you have a giant table oh no we have a big table hold everything 
okay and we have extra column to differentiate it belongs to checking or belongs to the saving and uh, we have a faster operation but uh, this is not a normalized uh, table because this one gonna be none this one gonna be none okay we're gonna if we insert more columns you will see more newable records okay uh, newable sales for each record so this is a default by default hibernate or jpl will map inheritance into single table and uh, we suppose we want to change this one i don't want to call d type i want to call something and also for this one i want to change it to not uh, using seven i want to have some different values definitely you can do we have an inheritance which you can specify the strategy uh, you can specify inheritance type to be single table joined or table per class by default if you don't use it, if you don't use it, this annotation by default it's gonna be a single table and uh, to specify this discriminator we're using discriminator column and uh, the uh, what's the, the name by default you can see the name by default is a d type you we can specify suppose this one we we can't want to call account type okay and also now this value here is the uh string value right if you want to using uh what's thing uh integer or others you can do there's another one which is uh, uh this one discriminated discriminator type by default is string okay discriminator type equals discriminator type dot you can use an integer string uh, or character suppose now we use the integer see what's gonna happen okay I never used the integer before yeah why it has uh, this one okay this is uh, the intelligent something it's trying to resolve something it cannot find okay we just ignore it and the next one since it's integer we have to specify a value how to specify is here so this one is called discriminator value and uh, let me take a look at it. i already forgot oh e then the value can only be string mm, oh, oh okay value we give one see if it works because i cannot give one here because it asks for a string see it is an integer a string so i give one and then i give a discriminator value here yes two and let's take a look at if it works or not if it doesn't work let me change this one to be string okay then let uh, uh i'll fix it because i don't know the solution now for for integer i'm not sure if it this way works or not i guess it should work i feel it's gonna work so let's take a look at if not descrip discriminate value um, why only can have a string mm, seems works e so we have two insert and let's go to the database and take a look at the value very good so take a look at the discriminator change to account type and we have a first account is a checking right the second account is the what's the uh saving and the value is one and two let's see it using string or use integer okay this one right oh, very good ah uh, take a look Oh, see here for account type uh, it's very a little bit small but account type since we here uh, here here we specify is integer right so now you can see the value here uh, the type here data type is int 11 and uh, when we save it we're gonna convert that string one two three into an int here I think if we give uh, another like a string probably it won't work okay if I don't use this one, like using checking, okay, and then here using saving. 
probably it, it won't work because then I don't know how to save into the uh, uh, integer type. Okay. So you just give make sure here is a string which can be converted into an integer. That's what I guess now. Mm, very good. Very smart. <laughs> See number format exception because you cannot convert those values into an integer. So make sure if you are using integer, make sure here the value can be format as a integer. So everything gonna be uh, right. Okay. So that's it for this video and we are finished the single table to emulate inheritance in relational database. And uh, if you have any question, any more question, leave me a comment. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.